Hello friends, welcome to my channel Tech Savvy. Today we are going to learn about how to set up a Prometheus server on AWS EC2 machine. So this is our EC2 dashboard. As you can see, there is no instance is running. We will launch an instance where we will set up our Prometheus server. I am selecting Amazon Linux to AMI. Instance type is T2 Micro, which is free T rear eligible. All the settings are default setting. Add storage. Storage is also default. Add tag. I will give a tag to this machine as Prometheus server security group we can use our existing security group or we can create new one i will select my existing security group which is i have created for monitoring purpose as of now only port number 22 which is ssh port is enabled review and launch launch i will create a new key pair i will give this key pair name is monitoring key and make sure to download this key and save it for future reference download key pair any location i am saving it to desktop launch instance view instance So as you can see, one instance is in pending stage, soon it will become in a running stage. Meanwhile, I am pausing the video and I will resume the video once this instance is up and running. As you can see, now our instance is running. I will take the public IP address of it and I will use Mobastam for SSH. You can use any SSH tool, either put a or git bash or command line as per your likes. I am using Mobasta. I will pass the private key which I have saved on desktop. Return key and OK. So here you can see I am connected with the instance. And there are the steps which we are going to perform to set up a Prometheus server. Don't worry, I will write all the steps in the description blog. You can refer it from there. So before start, we just first need to update the machine if any update will come. So we will just type the sudo yum update hyphen by command and press enter. It will update. So as of now, no update is required. Then next step is create Prometheus user required directories and make Prometheus user as the owner of those directories. As we all know, whatever things is we perform or whenever any server we set up, it is always a best practice to use uh, via creating a user rather than using a root directory or root users so here i am just creating one user prometheus directory i am making two directory one is under etc that is prometheus and var lib under prometheus where we will put our all the binaries and configuration files and i am giving a permission to for those folder to create a user i will write all the five files five command in one go and it will work accordingly enter now next step is we need to download our prometheus setup from internet so how we will download it we just go and type our prometheus.io on google this is the official website of prometheus 
we just need to click on download under download there are different types of setups are available as of now we are only setting up a prometheus server and that too on a linux machine so we will check this file and we will right click and copy link address then as per our steps we just need to get the complete package download into our machine so we will write wget and url and press enter so it will download the package into our linux machine we can see while typing ls as we can see prometheus is downloaded as it is in a tar form we need to untar it and what is the command for untar is tar xvf and the package name so we will type the same command here tar hyphen xvf and our package name here yeah. so it will untar all the things which is present into our tar package see this is the untar package name now we just need to rename it with some familiar name instead of 2.36 and all those things so we just type a command mv prometheus and prometheus files ls as you can see now whole binary is present under prometheus files now next is now we need to copy all the binaries and library files into the required places so these are the four command we just need to copy local bin files prometheus files and prom tool on into bin folder and we need to make the ownership to prometheus user these four command will help us to copy binaries and the next four will help us to copy console libraries paste it and see done all the things has been performed now next is for copying console and console libraries into console folder and changing the ownership to prometheus user as of now what we have done is we just config gave uh, all the required binaries and console file on to the location now we are setting up a prometheus server first of all we need to create a yaml file into this location etc prometheus so we just take the, this uh, command here and we will type it here enter now if this blank file is open into this location into vi editor we just need to copy this code into this file and instead of server ip address we just need to first press i into our uh, keyboard for making this file editable and instead of server ip address we need to give a our ec2 server ip address paste and 9090 is the port number default port number for prometheus and we just need to type escape colon wq enter now next is change the ownership of the file prometheus user whatever yaml file which we have just created we just need to change the ownership to this user so we just copy it and change the ownership Done. now we have created configuration file and all the required configuration files are present into the required directories now next step is we need to create a service so for creating a service we need to create one service file on service file default service path etc system day system under that all the services file will be present again the blank file is created we just need to press i into our keyboard and we need to pass this code into this file what this code is stating is 
it is just giving a path of all the required file and we are giving a instruction to our system that where all the setup related with prometheus is present escape colon wk next now till now we have done three major steps and all the setups has been done now it's time to start the daemon and prometheus server reload daemon start the prometheus service see redirecting to bin, bin system ctl and starting the prometheus service now we can check the status see our prometheus server is up and running how to check the gui of this prometheus server is we just need to take the ip address of this machine and we need to paste that ip address on 9090 port number and hit enter now you can see the response is not coming definitely this response will not come as the reason behind it we have not opened a firewall for particular port we just need to go to the security group click on inbound rule edit inbound rule add rules custom tcp port number is 1990 as of now i am making open for all you can customize the ip address as per your company's structure save and now again refresh or there is no need to refresh also see you can see the response is coming so this is the prometheus server dashboard main prometheus server dashboard we can create a graph here we can scrape the matrix here so these are the default matrix which is related with our prometheus server machine we can take any of the uh, uh, matrix here scrape duration and execute once the execute command will execute you can check the graph here see this is the graph is coming you can reduce the time so you can visualize it in more granular way so this is the prometheus server setup we can also this is just a setup we now next step is we need to configure this server to scrape a matrix from the target as of now there is no target is present only it is scraping matrix from a prometheus server only in next upcoming video we will learn how to scrape a matrix from the target and how to create a graph with all the target matrix so that's it for today thanks for watching and please do subscribe my channel